Hello, it's Mark from Torch here for Mark on 3D. And in this first section, what we're going to do is create our bullet, our emitter, and give it some animation. So let's start off by deleting that default cube, Shift A, and I'm just going to add in a plane. Let's rotate X 90 degrees. And so this is going to be our emitter. I'm going to add in our bullet. So let's go Shift A mesh and add in a UV sphere. And I'm just going to bring that up there. Let's rotate X 90 degrees. And I want a teardrop shape. So I'm gonna grab this vertice, oops, this one on the end. I'm gonna come up here and enable proportional editing, or I can just press O. Let's go G, Y on the X axis and just pull it out. Now I want it probably maybe like that. So I can use the mouse wheel to control how much I'm selecting. Let's just go with something like that. Press tab to go back into edit mode. From here, I'm gonna click black back on the plane come into the particle section and let's add in a new particle system. Now we can just press play and we can see this is our side that we're emitting from. And this is the side where the normal is facing. Now I don't want a thousand particles to come out. What I want to happen is on frame 15, I want it to start firing, but I want it to end firing on frame 30. So for those 15 frames, it's gonna be emitting. Now I don't want a thousand particles coming out in between those two, sorry, in that range. So I'm going to go about 10. And so what's going to happen is over each frame, it might shoot, be blank, shoot, shoot, blank, so on and so forth. So if we go back and we play it, we can see our 10 frames pop out. From here, I want to give it a bit of oomph as it comes out. So let's go into velocity and the normals, and I'm just going to set it to about 20. So let's go check that. And we can see that they all go flowing out. Now I would love to, for it to go a little bit faster. However, when we start painting, it's almost like the dynamic paint won't capture the particles hitting that plane. So I've had to slow it down a little bit, but I mean, if need be, you can speed it up in post. From here, let's just scroll down a little bit more to render. And we wanna change render as halo to object. And this instance object, I'm just going to use the main find tool, um, the eyedropper and select our object. And let's have a look which way are our bullets facing. They're facing that way. We don't want that. So I'm going to come into edit mode, select all, rotate Z 90 degrees. And there we go. Now our bullets are coming out. What I will do is I'm coming to edit mode. I'm just going to scale this down. And the reason for that is, is those bullets seem to be coming a little bit spread out. And that seems to be a lot cleaner there. From here, we've pretty much got our particle system set up. Let's just animate it a little bit. Let's just move this quickly out of the way because I don't need to see that at the moment. Select our plane and I'm going to kind of have it facing maybe, whoops, let's come back to frame one. Rotate Z about here. I'm going to press I and put in a rotation. And let's go to location while we're at it. And then about frame 50, I want it to be about this way over here. I rotate. If you don't want to have to keep pressing I, you can just press the record button here and whatever we change, it'll save. So what do we got? So we've got this. And so you can kind of see already that it kind of does a spray. But from here, I actually want it to rotate on the X. So it goes up a little bit. And then so we've kind of got this where it fires up and it's a bit of an arc as it comes out. So in this section, so far we've done particle system and we've done a little bit of animation. 